I think one of the things that most folks don't really understand is how diverse this microbial labor, labor force is. There's, there's 15 trillion or so microbes in that shovelful, but they're not all the same. There's not one microbe and let's get 15 trillion more of the same one and we'll do 15 trillion times as much. They have, it's, it's just like human labor and a human um, society where there are, let's say, let's call them unskilled labor. And unskilled labor are, are bigger masses of, of the total community. And th this unskilled labor are, let's say they're the ones that decompose the crop residues. They're the ones decomposing cellulose, decomposing corn residues. Then there's the skilled labor. And the skilled labor are the ones that are transforming the soil organic carbon. The little, it's a lot tougher, um, molecules to break down and by breaking down the soil organic matter they're actually creating new forms of soil organic matter at the same time so this is your skilled labor you need to have uh, some different functional capabilities to degrade soil organic matter like humic substances and so i'll call them skilled labors and then you have the teenagers you know you got to get them a summer job right you, you got to you know, and they're working at Burger King or something. And, and for the bacteria, the youngsters are working on plant exudates. They're hanging out by the plants. Plants are leaking all these sugars and organic acids. It's a free for all. And these youngsters, they don't have a lot of skills yet, but they no sure know how to gobble up this sugar. So you've got, you've got the youngsters taken care of. You've got the skilled workers, the unskilled laborers, but then you have some professional specialists. And these are microbes like our buscular mycorrhizal fungi that form close associations with the plants and the plants provide everything that the mycorrhizae needs so that they can reproduce. So it's a very special relationship. Another example would be nitrogen fixing bacteria. The nitrogen fixing bacteria and blue green algae uh, or cyanobacteria are the only organisms on Earth that, are, that can fix atmospheric nitrogen and bring it into the land. These organisms have very special capabilities that none other have, and so I consider them as professional specialists. They have a very specialized function. They're communicating. They are communicating chemically. The, the soil microorganisms and the plants are sending chemical signals back and forth to each other in the soil that stimulates certain activities. So